Welcome to episode one of the Ultimate AFL Preview Show for 2017. Just to explain, of course, you may know that I hosted a show called the Ultimate AFL Show on this channel last year. Well, this year I've decided to split that show into two and make two AFL shows each and every week throughout the AFL season. One is called the Ultimate AFL Wrap-Up Show, which will be uploaded every Monday and will start next Monday. And the other one, of course, is this show, the Ultimate AFL Preview Show, which will be uploaded on a Wednesday, Thursday, depending on if there's a Thursday night match or not, and will preview every single round, every game, throughout the AFL season. And uh, it will include... Uh, more in-depth uh, previews of games, so include, of course, the match information, my tips, and also I hope to get the ins and outs uh, in every episode as well. So uh, welcome to the Ultimate AFL Preview Show for 2017. Today's episode is all about the JLT Community Series, the NAB Challenge uh, of last year. It's basically renamed. Uh, it's still pretty much the same. Uh, this pre-season, uh, I guess, tournament uh, this season as it was last season. It is the same. Uh, so we're looking forward to uh, looking at week one. It's great to have footy back. Of course, we've had the Women's League uh, in the last few weeks, and that has been good. But, geez, I'm just dying for uh, the normal AFL to, uh, to get up and running. So let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into having a look at week one of the JLT Community Series. Okay, so of course the JLT Community Series is the pre-season competition of uh, 2017. This is how it works. 18 teams play three matches across a month's worth of the, uh, the competition. There are six games in each of the first three weeks of of the community series with the fourth round including nine games which means every team will play in the last week of the JLT community series. Now this is what I really love about this uh, community series. 22 venues will be used, only five of them currently host AFL home and away games during the home and away season. So, you know, there's going to be games that are going out to uh, venues that uh, don't normally host uh, AFL matches, and that is the exciting thing about it. Like, you've got uh, venues such as Coffs Harbour, uh, you've got uh, Richmond Oval is another example. That is just absolutely massive. Witten Oval, uh, the Western Bulldogs, a classic ground there, used to host AFL matches, of course, do not, does not anymore, and there's a few others as well. There's just a heap of them, and there's so many that uh, will be hosting a uh, JLT Community uh, Series match in 2017 that don't normally host an AFL home and away game or such. So that's the exciting part about it. Uh, so now let's get into the uh, the first game. Okay, so the JLT Community Series for 2017 kicks off on Thursday the 16th of February at Etihad Stadium between the two teams who play on Anzac Day and that traditional Anzac Day clash is Collingwood and Essendon. This game starting at 7:40 p.m. and you can watch the game. You can watch every game of the JLT Community Series live, uninterrupted, uh, in HD on Fox Footy. So uh, you won't miss a beat there if you just stay tuned to Fox Footy because uh, you'll be able to watch uh, every single JLT Community Series match. Let's have a look at uh, the uh, announced uh, sides for this match. Uh, here is the uh, the Collingwood side. Uh, Jamie Elliott returns uh, to uh, the side. Of course, uh, missed last year due to an injury, so he's back. He's one of the notable ins. Uh, Lyndon Dunn, uh, Chris Mayne is also in as well. You've got a few others there still side bottom will play. Uh, Darcy Moore is in the side as well. Mason Cox also starring as well in that side as well as a few others. Uh, the notable absences there, of course, this is uh, from the AFL website. 
Uh, the notable abs absences are uh, Adam Trelaw, Scott Pendlebury, Brody Grundy, Taylor Adams and Daniel Wells, who of course uh, is a new recruit uh, from North Melbourne to the Collingwood uh, side in 2017. And well, Essendon, they are welcoming back a lot of their players who missed uh, last year's season due to that suspension. Uh, it's just going to be great to see uh, some of these players back. Uh, Joe Watson is uh, one of them. Uh, of course, uh, Brendan Goddard is going to be running out. Uh, David Zaharakas, of course, didn't get suspended last year, but it's good to see him out there as well. Michael Hurley, uh, Dyson Heppel, of course, announced as the captain during the week. There's a few others there as well who are making their return. Good to see uh, McDonald, Tip and Woody also uh, playing in that squad as well. Some of the notable absences, uh, Do uh, Tom Bell Chain Chambers, Brett Stanton, Kyle Hooker, Joe Danaher and Aaron Francis. So uh, that's the sides for uh, the opening JLT Community Series match, Collingwood v Essendon. Really looking forward to this match and just looking forward to uh, the footy being back. On Friday night, Hawthorne and Geelong meet at Hawthorne's home away from home. It's, uh, well, it was Aurora Stadium last year, but it's been renamed to the University of Tasmania Stadium, uh, of course, traditionally known as York Park, we know that. And uh, this game is starting at 7.40pm. This game will be on Friday, February 17th, a uh, Friday night game. It will be great to get some uh, Friday night footy back. Of course, the women's has been the viewing uh, that I've, or the match that I've been viewing uh, the last couple of weeks on a Friday night, but it's going to be great to have uh, this, uh, or I guess the men back, I suppose. Uh, let's have a look at the sides for this match, uh, which starts at 7.40pm. Jared Ruffhead, great to see him back. Of course, he was announced as the captain of the club. Great to hear that. Uh, some of the other uh, mentions there, Josh Gibson, Ben McAvoy, Sean Burgoyne, Jager O'Meara has been named in the side. That is very, very interesting. Uh, James Frawley, of course, in that side as well, as well as Tyrone uh, Vickery and Cyril Rioli. Uh, Kieran Lovell, a Tasmanian, playing uh, at, a, at uh, a Tasmanian ground. Great to see him uh, named in the side as well. There's also a few others as well in that side. Luke Hodge, Luke, Bru uh, Luke Bruce, Brendan Whitecross, Tom Mitchell and Jack Gunston will be the uh, the absences there, or the notable absences from that side. And then the Geelong Cats, well, they've got uh, they've got Dangerfield in. It's great to see him in. Of course, uh, the Brownlow medalist of last year. There is a few others as well that have been named in the side, such as uh, Lockie Henderson, Tom Hawkins, uh, Steve Motlop, and uh, there's also Jackson Furlow in the side as well. And the notable absences there is uh, Joel Selwood, Daniel Menzel, Scott Selwood, and a couple of other players. So uh, that is that uh, Friday night game at uh, York Park, uh, Tasmania's very own University of Tasmania Stadium, of course, north of where I am. Looking forward to that match on Friday night. And there's four games to come in uh, week one of the JLT Community Series, two on Saturday and two on Sunday. Do not have any announced teams for uh, these matches. I do apologise for that, but the information has not come through. Uh, so uh, if you want to see the uh, the teams uh, announced for uh, the games coming up uh, this weekend on Saturday and Sunday, just uh, stay hooked to the, uh, the AFL uh, website, uh, of course, I'll also uh, also update it on the uh, Beaver B5 Productions Facebook page and also the Beaver B5 Productions Twitter page. So let's get into the first game of Saturday. It is uh, the GWS Giants, the preliminary finalists of 2016, taking on the West Coast Eagles, of course, beaten by the Western Bulldogs in week one of the finals last year. This game is at uh, Narendra Sports Stadium. The game will be starting at 2.05. PM. So looking forward to that game. And then uh, the next game is at 4.40 p.m. One of two games at Witten Oval on Saturday. The women will be playing straight after them. It is Western Bulldogs v Melbourne. Of course, like I mentioned, it's at Witten Oval starting at 4.40 p.m. Interesting to see whether Travis Cloak and also Stuart Cramery play for the Western Bulldogs on Saturday. That is uh, the most fascinating thing I think about the Western Bulldogs in this uh, pre on this first pre-season uh, game. And of course Melbourne, Simon Goodwin is going to be in charge for his first game of the year. And Sunday there are two more games to come. Uh, Sydney Swans taking on North Melbourne in the first game at 2.05 p.m. This is at Coffs Harbour International Stadium. Might be very hot over there on Sunday. Uh, I think it does normally get a bit warm over there so uh, I'm sure that uh, 
extra uh, extra minutes uh, in the breaks will apply. Uh, and looking forward to seeing, of course, the Swans who were runners up in the uh, in the grand final last year. Looking forward to seeing them in action, and also North Melbourne as well. Of course, they have lost a lot of uh, players. They have gained a few players as well. Uh, looking forward to seeing them in this first pre-season game. And then the final game to wrap up week one of the JLT Community Series. I'm so excited about the first week of the pre-season competition. It's just going to be great to see uh, the men back in action. It is the Gold Coast Suns taking on the Brisbane Lions. Of course, the uh, the Queensland rivals. Of course, this one is at Combermary Park. Uh, and it will be starting at 3.40pm. So that wraps up what is going to be a great week one of the JLT Community Series. I just can't wait. And that is it for the first episode of the Ultimate AFL Preview Show for 2017. Of course, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Subscribe for more content. Of course, next Monday, the Ultimate AFL Wrap-Up Show will start, and that's where I'll wrap up uh, week one of the JLT Community Series. I'll wrap up that and uh, so on and so forth. So do stay tuned to uh, for that and uh, of course the only way you can do that is by subscribing of course the ultimate afl preview show episode two will be uploaded next week uh, before thursday's opening game of week two of the community series so i look forward to bringing you all that so that is it thank you very much for joining me enjoy week one of the jlt community series and until next week bye for now